CBS 2 News starts right now with breaking news. Breaking right now, a nine-year-old boy dies after being shot just steps from his home. She just let him out the house to play. He had been in the house for a couple weeks. Let's get right to our Jermont Terry live outside Lurie Children's Hospital tonight. Jermont. Brad, Chicago police investigating yet another murder of a child. This time, the nine-year-old was simply playing outside when he was caught in the crossfire. Here's a look at the little boy. The medical examiner identifies Chicago's latest gun violence victim as Janari Andre Riggs. This is a little boy gunned down this evening. Chicago homicide detectives arrived to the old Cabrini Green neighborhood to find out who shot and killed a nine-year-old. The boy shot while playing outside his front door in the 900 block of Cambridge. And the one day she let him out to play, he's no longer here with us. Community activist and family friend Willie J.R. Fleming had just pulled onto the block of the single row units left in the Cabrini Green neighborhood. That's when he was flagged down by the family. The stepfather came up to me and said, put her in the car, get her to the hospital. I said, excuse me, what's going on? He said, get her to the hospital. It was her child that has been shot. As they rushed to Lori's children, Fleming says he will never forget the mother's agony. It, it hurts. What can I tell her? What can I say to her? What, you can't bring the child back. You can't get the screams out your head. You know what I'm saying? For eight minutes coming down to the hospital, I had to hear screaming because a mother can't let a nine-year-old go outside to play. Despite the best efforts of doctors, the boy did not survive. The death leaves the family heartbroken and Fleming with a feeling of failure. She figured it was okay to let him out the house. I'm just sorry we failed uh, everybody to blame. I don't just blame the shooter no more. I'm blaming myself and others, right? Now, Chicago police telling us that after the gunman fired the multiple rounds, he then took off running on foot. Tonight, they do not have a good description of the individual or any concrete leads. Reporting live outside Lori's Children's Hospital tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.